for that sunshine here in Florida, and that's why the city of Tampa is using the sun's rays to power traffic lights with these solar sidewalks. City leaders say that is critical during a storm like Hurricane Ian. Fox 13's Janae Lewis shows us where the panels are and how it ended up here. So as far as we know, this is the first intersection in the country that has a uh, dedicated solar array powering the intersection. And it's located at the intersection of Jefferson and Cass. The solar sidewalk is made up of 84 solar panels connected to the traffic signal next to it. They absorb power from the sun and convert it into electricity. And it generates power to reduce our consumption here at the intersection. Crews installed the first panels in the summer of 2020. The city started thinking about a plan after Hurricane Irma when a lot of traffic signals went out during the aftermath of the storm. We have a lot of intersections around the city where we have battery backup units that power an intersection for around eight hours. But the panels give more flexibility. They can keep the signals going for several days. Hurricane Ian was another example of the importance of this. City leaders say 71 intersections went out. The panels save time and also help with driver and pedestrian safety when there's a power outage. Our crews can, can, can deploy generators, but it takes some time. So having a local power generation system that can turn on right away uh, reduces that lag and really significantly increases the safety. The panels currently produce 75% of the power needed at the intersection. But the city says this pilot program is only the beginning of their plans. And we're hoping to get it uh, to where it, it uh, generates 100% of our power needs for the intersection. At this point, we would anticipate uh, it could keep power going for a multi-day outage. Shining a light on a brighter and more sustainable future for our city. Reporting in Tampa, Janae Lewis, Fox 13 News. Well, the panels and equipment were about $45,000, and it took city crews about a week in total to install them.